Hello everyone, this is V. We are going to do another arena. I have done a few this morning, they didn't go particularly well. Um, the problem was that the first one I was just waking up and I made a few mistakes. And that ended it quite abruptly, even though I had a decent tick. Uh, I shouldn't do that again. It's a holiday, it's the 11th of November today. There has been a parade through the street here to commemorate the end of World War One. And, uh, well, I, I got distracted in multiple ways and got up way too late. I would call that as an excuse. And then the second one, we faced a few really strong decks and it ended a bit prematurely. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have uh, any recordings of these drafts because especially the second one was very interesting. Um, it was more interesting than most of the drafts I have recorded. And even though uh, I didn't uh, win, well, I didn't win 8 I think I went 4-3 or so. Yeah, 4-3. Um, the matches in it were particularly good and very close, so unfortunately we don't have any recording of it. And here I will be taking Priest, I think I will like it. So yeah, I wish I had uh, recorded that. Uh, some, I made some mistakes in those drafts and those mistakes are were very uh, important to highlight uh, certain ways of play. So, it's really unfortunate that that happens. Um, yeah, I think the Berserker is just more needed. I will take the Juggler here. And the Knight has nice toughness, so that's okay. A Mercenary is fine, the Knight Control is nice. Always might prefer the removal. And this is a tough choice. I like both of these. Uh, I really like them both. They are both possible two for ones. The problem is the application difference. And I think we will go for Karen just because this is something you have to hold. While this is just a double yeti. And well. We have mind control that can fulfill similar functions to this. And another mind control or two drop. I think we go for the two drop here. Um, I would prefer this one, I think. Mind control is great though. Wouldn't fault you for taking it. I definitely would like another one. But, yeah. It's another high cost, and I really need the low costs. Just taking things that are as cheap as possible, while still being good. Meh, don't like this at all. Now we need to take the summoner, I think. Yeah, we just need to lower the curve as much as possible. Well, that's not the worst. It's not great though. Um, I don't think a third Francesco is very useful. Here, this is the choice. I think Shield Master is just better. Holy Nova, I think you have to take the first one at the very least. Another removal spell and the second mind control. Pretty nice. And here I am inclined to take the Master Just because I really like it. Twilight Trick is not the worst, but Master just seems like something that can get you more value. Worst case scenario. 
is both bad, but I think the Twilight Trick with the silencing is just a waste. Whereas the Imp at least gets you some early creatures to stop rushes. So we will automatically dump everything over four and higher. The light shall bring victory. Yeah, that's particularly awful here. We're also on the play, it makes it even worse, and this is not exactly awe-inspiring. A 3-2 would be a good start for him, unfortunately. He does not have it. Yeah, I'm going to Murloc that. Okay. I just will shield mask that and Murloc it again. That's enough value from the Murloc. The totem's not the worst. That way so off his turns. Which makes it pretty uh, reasonable I think. Port lightning might be a good call here, even though I can heal up the shield mask. Strange. I'm gonna drop the Berserker almost certainly. Or not. Is someone injured? This is just more value. Don't think we play the bombers here. Not sure what he has achieved with that axe. What a really strange play to me. But maybe he has a good follow-up. Lightning Storm might be good for him. It kind of depends on uh, what happens. Yeah, that's okay. The future hold. Hmm. Yeah, the man bomber is just. <laughs> Oh, come on. That's just completely ridiculous. <sighs> that was a mistake. Yeah, no kidding. Let's draw a card from that. Right away. And then just a <laughs> That's just absolutely terrible. See, and this is why I really, really handle it. A number of parts of this game. It's just absolutely terrible in some respects. And that certainly was one of those. Well, actually, 
one thing to kill that. I would much rather have it say it deals two split between enemies. <laughs> it would be so much better. It would be insane then. Still, I would just want it to say three two plus one would be more than fine. It's normal things. It's a pile of poop. And I think here for tempo reasons we will be control. Oh, yeah, you got it. That makes it very difficult for him to recover. Even if he has an earth elemental. Power wins. No, that's not a very good creature. Might just throw them. This is a situation in which the priest is just really potent. This wasn't very good for him. I think I want to summon a and that's a trick. Kieran for later. If he never does. Well played. He would have used it there. So, as I already said, it's uh, 11 November Armistice, the end of World War I, which is a kind of a big deal in Belgium, because uh, Belgium and France sort of the places where World War I actually took place for the most part, uh, or at least a lot of it, very Many died on the fields of Flanders, and um, it's a holiday here. I don't have enough mana. I do that because I expected to trade. I would like to get some value me. from the brewmaster. Not gonna get value from it. Had I not been able to trade, I probably wouldn't have deployed that. Mind if I roll knee? Ah, this is very annoying. <sighs> Shall um, yeah, let's trade. That's a two for one for him, and another two for one for him. That's really unfortunate. Join or die or both. Ah, I guess we have no choice here. Yeah, we can't deal with that. But that's okay if he deals with it that way. That's just fine. 
Um, let's drop Karen. Is there a way for that to become bad? Mm. There it is. The same goes for Wind Fury Harpy. So just like this. The Earth Mother is near. This is interesting. For the king! For honor! For honor! You shall not pass. We have given up so much value already that it's going to be very, very hard to actually get anywhere from this game. At least something and now it's the battle of the mind controls. Whoever has to cast this first is likely to lose. Click to lose. So I'm trying to solve that ogre without the uh, mind control. But he has one too, so we will just take it back. Or at least I assume that that's But there was no other play there. That was terrible, the holy nova. It's time for a little blood. If that's his turn, that's extremely good for us, of course. Is someone injured? See, I just counted on him having the mind control, in which case our board position was absolutely terrible. But seeing as he doesn't have it, well, you know, random stuff. It just means he dies horribly, probably. Now we actually want to hit our own characters. We must 
must cleanse the Sunwell. Right away. Yeah, and one mind control changes the entire game, and it's just about luck. For not because realistically, what could he do? Nothing really. Um, question is, yeah, we should just take that out. Oh, that's quite nice. Mm. Should probably that's just deploy that. Right away. In its two seven form, that's just a bad creature. I hope you like my invention. But that's not his final form. Uh, that could be worse. Right away. Push forward. Tight clock, and it's easier to deal with if mind controls. Mind if I roll Not me. great, it could be worse. Right away. Yeah, he can trade there, but this puts a huge amount of pressure on the board. Five versus seven. That's not gonna help him. And now the game is over, I think. Barring something crazy, I don't even think there is anything except the dead wing. Drink with me, friend. No reason to commit these to the board here. Yeah, that's a lot worse than that we. Uh, as I said before, my theory is that playing in the morning is much more difficult than playing in the evening. People that play in the morning are gonna be players that play a lot. Most of the time very experienced, usually pretty good. And you see the win rate drop. Um, I normally have a win rate of about 80% or a little higher. 
and that goes down to 55 or 60 uh, when I play very early in the morning or at other awkward hours. Don't hold this. Which of course is an interesting phenomenon, but it's not uh, something that surprises me. The same is true on Magic Online to some extent, if you play on an hour that, the, for example, the Japanese uh, main hour, then chances are in the off hours. If you play the main hours for the American continent, you see the same. And then you notice uh well oh well, that's okay. Then you notice how a uh, huge difference that can be play perhaps but I really think it's needed. Give me a quest. I'm gonna have to trade with that. I can. Yeah, I can't. That's what we can do this. Yeah, yeah, you got this. Hey, catch! bad, not as in bad, bad, but it really uh, makes the opponents play much better. What now? I can taste the mana. And what's your follow-up? This is much better. How you doing? That minion already attacked. Drink with me, friend. And see, you can write this to victory. How much value did we get from it? Incredible amounts. What are you looking at? Hey, how 
Seems like a really bad plan, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't think that's really what he wanted. I can't see how we can recover from this. And after watching uh, BlizzCon, uh, I think I am uh, going to build a few constructed decks, or at least try to play with the ones that were used there. Uh, I don't like the Crusader here, but I still keep this. Obviously, not gonna run out of cleric, but. This may be a very grindy and nasty game. Is someone injured? That is going to need an untimely ending, I think. And I think it needs to. Oh, man, Bummer is just so mad here. The potential upside for that creature is so immense that it just you need a seems dancing? like a bad, 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 bad plan to leave it alive. I, I'm not sure the young priestess is great. Sometimes it's okay, but right here, if he didn't have that, it would have done absolutely nothing. So it requires two cards, one of which can trips, of course, which is fine, but still. We must cleanse the Sunwell. Okay. Again, the man bomber such a really bad creature here. Join or die. Still feel we should probably use it. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> yeah, that's just no good at all. It could be worse though. It could have hit this. I just really, really dislike random effects. I think that should be obvious by now. I think it detracts such an immense amount of skillful play. Um, if this hit this creature and this twice, we would have probably won the game on the back of chance. If it hit ourselves and us, 
hit nothing there, we would probably lose on the back of chance and there nothing at all. Play-wise, that would have been Ready, sir. a lot of difference, so... Join yeah, just trading because I think uh, doing anything else is bad. Your magic shall not save you. All right. Yeah, this is pretty terrible for us. Don't know why that is good. You might have a reason, I guess. And yeah, that's why it was useless. I don't get that, but okay. And we just can't avoid uh, getting two for one in some way here. Apparently, he doesn't have another play. That's very strange. I would have guessed that he would do at least something. He might have the read on the mind control, of course, but... I am the blade of the gods. I will be doing that here. I don't think there is much harm in it. It might entice him to drop bigger creatures that we can eliminate. That was expected. And we'll mind control that too, but we should be prepared for him taking that back. Yep, that's not going to happen. As I, oh, well, that's not the worst. Hmm... 
Yeah, I guess we do this. We just need board presence because otherwise it's going to go downhill really quickly. Now the situation is reversed, of course. <laughs> we have board position board. and he has the nothing. That's pretty good. Um Bad call to be honest. Coming through for honor. For the king. For honor. Engaging TC-130, Mental Dislocator! I should have played around that. See, this is the kind of mistake that you really can't afford. That's a good draw. The eyes of the Earth Mother are upon us. But it does mean we can get the upper hand here. Obviously this because force him to well or at least heal. Mm. 
Oh, let's just do this. See who that is because oh it's that kind of person. But uh, um, yeah, let's remove that. But let's not do that now. All right, match five. <coughs> so I would uh, kind of like to talk from memory what went wrong in my. Uh, draft this morning uh, well not wrong but I definitely made a few mistakes and one of those mistakes was uh, letting um, letting a uh, uh, tutu summoner what's their name I let one live and that came back at me so quickly so bad that uh, I I don't think I ever lit one with, and I thought, yeah, it's probably not that awful. Basically, the choice was between playing a tree tree and playing an axe, and I chose to play the tree tree. While I could have just axed it to death, well, I didn't, and it came back at me. It flew in my face, and. It was so bad, it got followed up by Ascension Shield Master. Shields that up. stopped me from uh, dealing with it that turn. And then uh, the turn after, things got even worse. Um, uh, I want to put pressure on him entirely, almost. Things got even worse. Um, he dropped uh, what's uh, what's the name? Uh, not the uh, well, the, the five mana uh, oh. five thing. Uh, I don't remember the name, but it basically heals up your uh, creatures. Dark scale healer, I think. For four. Uh, which obviously healed his shield master, and yeah, then the game was just completely over. This is particularly awful. For the king, for honor. I just want to pressure him into not drawing me with cards, even if it exposes me for bad traits. Remember Zerk, yeah. Guess that's better than the other options here. Oh, I don't like it that much. I don't think it's probably right. at all um but still we can drop Karen that can trade with something or we could drop knife juggler and then Warlock that can trade with two things That's a little unfortunate. But okay. 
Get another card. For honor. At least we can deal with that now. Um, I think, yeah, I'm better to just drop this. I think. Earth Mother is near. Well played. What can you do? You can silence. Not much else. Okay, that's pretty nice. So everything is free for him right now. Nice. For honor. <laughs> Yeah, I think I just grab it. Put so much pressure on his life. Yeah, that's all not very impressive to be honest. Good we game. Must cleanse the sun well. Two of these summoning portals. I'm not a fan of summoning portals just for wizards. <laughs> All right, first. Mm -hmm. first good games of the, of the day uh, about the warriors so I lost against that 2-2 uh, two, two pine size summoners and that's just a lesson to not let that thing live being able to play under the curve changes everything the entire dynamic of the game um, I'm still not a fan of it myself it's one of those cards that's very much like uh, the demolisher in that if you let it live then it's going to dominate and if it dies it's probably worthless not because it has died but because it's you know, normally going to be a positive trait for an opponent I will run this out First, <laughs> it's time for a little blood. And that may sound a bit counterintuitive, but uh, for example, a demolish it will always be a good trait for the opponent if he can deal with it. And it's very bad if you are behind, but it's again very dominant if you are hit. And I really just dislike those kinds of cards. I think they are bad for the game. I think they are bad in general because they do something that is not supposed to be happening. Which is uh, make bad situation exponentially worse. Instead, cards should be designed around allowing you to uh, exploit a certain situation not in exploit exploit but they they should be good if you are a hit and they should be capable of putting you back from being behind if they are good 
and the, the obvious problem uh, in this game is that that just doesn't happen. Most cards that are good are great if you are hit, like Belt Master. It's amazing, it's just sealing your game up. And they are worthless if you are behind. So, this is a, a serious problem. It's inherent to the game. Uh, there's not really a lot that you can do against it. <laughs> it's part of the idea where uh, you can attack creatures and damage persists. That that mechanic has a lot of consequences that may not be obvious at first, but you must absolutely take them into account because they are absolutely essential to the dynamic of the game, to the balancing of the cards and to how tempo functions and tempo already is uh, such that Give me a quest. the person that is a hit has the, the high ground, I'll, I'll call it that has a, a huge benefit over the person that is behind. Um, I'll just shadow work. Um. Actually, going to offer him the easy trade for and hope for an Earth Elemental as usual. I have hoped for Earth Elemental more from my opponent, opposing shaman uh, adversaries than any other card. I think Earth Elemental is just so often so good for your opponent that I think you should be very careful in when you play it. Oh, that's a nice... Nice, nice, nice. That's very good for him. I'm a bit unfortunate, but... yeah. No, oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's terrible. This temple swing is ridiculous. Uh, I don't think we can recover from this. That's going to be a serious issue. You shall not pass. I am not a running now it's just hoping that he dro drops something with the mind control really because this is terrible for us. As he no doubt has a decent follow-up. Can we a totem? Yeah, let's see. It's a really nice two for one. Mm, I I think I might have actually gone for there. Nah.
He has just too many low drops that are great. Look at that. That's just fantastic. How shall we deal with this best? I think we just take control of that. Let the dark in. He will likely want to eliminate it, but he might just take down the Yeti. Oh, he can do both. Come on, no! Yeah, well that game didn't look great, but uh, it was a toss-up I guess. And once again we get a loss, auto loss or disconnect. It's such a terrible mechanic. This is one of the things that actively makes me want to quit this game. Uh, auto loss on disconnect is the most unfair feature in any game ever. There is no way to justify that at all. Uh, it's unfair any way you look at it. It's poor uh, design choice. And I just can't understand it. It it makes me uh, really angry at the developers. There are multiple things I can understand, but this one is just really bad. That was a, you know, kind of like an old play. Maybe he has an archangel. Ah, yeah. yeah, that kind of makes sense. We must cleanse the Sunwell. This exposes us to a multi-shot. Don't think that could have been avoided. Mm, I am ah, yes, morning that is of course more than fine. Hey, catch! And here I think I'll drop this to prevent exposing us from. Um, I'm gonna drop it here. Push forward. Prevent exposing us to multi shot. He obviously doesn't have that. Yeah, he can kill them all with an explosive shot. But we can't really do anything about that. Yeah, maybe I should have put that here. Um, yeah, that would have been better. And that way the pink would have come here and the explosive shot would just kill these two. That's probably the better choice there. Push forward. Just rush them down here. Yeah. 
There's not a tremendous amount of stuff that the hunters can do here. They don't really have card throwing. They have a few decent creatures, but as you can see, this is just not good. Uh, especially not mind control in mind. For honor. Let the dark in. Tadingo! Yes! <laughs> I hope you like my invention. Yeah, there's nothing now that he can do to win. Except disconnect me. Let's just assume that's not gonna My happen. For Argus. Yeah, that, for example, does absolutely nothing. <laughs> Either does that. Alright, let's play another one. So far, so good. The other uh, losses for the Warriors Arena deck before this draft were two uh, really crazy good decks. My opponent started off with some cheap creatures, then dropped the Cult Master, traded it off. And basically, that was pretty much all that happened there. Uh, Which is, of course, more than enough. Hmm. I don't like this at all. I'm thinking Pine Size Summoner because that forces him to trade. Which is fine. We have a lot of two drops, so losing that coin now seems like the best. And this is the least worthwhile card in our hand. Exactly because of that reason. Ah, he has a backstab. Alright. Um, since it's a rogue, might as well trade this off. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> no, that's unfortunate. We'll jump with the uh, Scarlet Crusader here. I'm guessing that's going to be the best. That's pretty 
something nasty. Join or die. Yeah. What choice do we have? Not much. I guess that's value. It's just very slow value. That doesn't really do much for me. Man, Bomber is just so risky. I dare not. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. But I think we have to. I mean, what else are we going to do here? Um, yeah. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> kind of have to try and get a better straight out of this somehow. But we couldn't. This is beginning to look like a quick loss, unless we draw something really strong like a Nova. He is effectively going to be able to run us down to 8 and then deploy more creatures to the board. Which means that he has lethal next turn almost regardless. Unless, of course, he does that. That's just weird. Yeah. Still doesn't make the most sense to me. Chances are very high that we are dead here, but yeah, that's what you get for having all these high cost creatures. Get in there and fight, maggot! Yep. There was nothing we could do there, I think. Holding back and healing, not part of the plan. It's not been a good day for Hearthstone. Definitely not. We started the day with 2500 and I wasted a lot of it. Especially that first draft. I can't even remember what glass it was with, but it was absolutely terrible. I made all and kinds of silly mistakes. And do it. Ah. The light shall bring victory. The light shall burn you. That shouldn't happen, of course. But it did. Yeah, the sand is fine, I guess. It's not very Greetings. impressive. Greetings. Yeah, we're gonna bomb another bomb. <laughs> of course. Thank you. That's, that's really sweet of you. For the crusade. Ah. <sighs> Why does this keep happening? This is just terrible. I guess that means that that has to be the plan. There's really no way around it. And that just is so awful.
and that makes it even worse. Well, that at least made him invest two cards into that. A little bit. <sighs> Come on. This is just completely uh, out of order. The amount of luck in this game is really ridiculous and stupid, and it's really getting to me lately. To the point where I no longer want to play it. Cards like this, it just shouldn't be like that. It's Preposterous, it's bad, it makes the game that is already low on skill cap uh, even worse. And I can't believe that Blizzard actually thinks, yeah, this game is really skill based. Yeah, let me tell you, it is not, not even a little, not even in the most remote sense of the word. You have the cards, yeah you win, you have the initiative, you win, and it's just so horrible. And I am not alone in this idea, not by any stretch of the imagination, in fact. Um. Okay. Is someone injured? For honor. The degree of random nonsense going on is preposterous. It's not just having the right answers in your deck, it's just coin flip. These aren't matches being played, it's just uh, one game. Who wins, uh, who has the best opening hand makes a lot more... Uh, well, has a lot more weight than who does the right plays. I'm not saying that my opponents are bad, not by any stretch of the imagination, but I am saying that when they lose, they lose. More often because they are unlucky or because I get lucky, than because of the plays they make. And the same goes for the side of the equation. And I am really, really annoyed with that. I think that's something that just shouldn't be so. Does the future hold? Mm, I want to deploy the berserkers here, so let's just do that. Honor for honor. I don't mind games where you have to do a little bit of work to make things uh, go your way. In fact, I kind of like that. But in this case, it's just... If you can do the work, you are already winning and it only goes one way. I just really, really dislike that. And the question here is, do we just... Destroy that, or to take it back to our control. I wonder. I think destroying it is much more mana efficient. For honor. Oh, what? Why did I do that? That was terrible. 
that was absolutely terrible. I just should have used this spell. Well, I guess we just deploy some creatures then. That was just a complete misplay. And this is, of course, another reason why you lose. If games are like this, one mistake costs you the game. But, well, it's more like you can lose the game to making a mistake, but you can't win the game by making consider. good plays. You can uh, often get ahead a little, but it's very, very difficult. Oh, <laughs> okay. It's uh, very interesting. But ultimately, I think, wrong. Well, depends on if he has a second mind control. What I mean with that is that either the game is a complete victory for one side or a complete victory for the other side. Hmm. Other times it just depends on luck and the skill factor, well, it doesn't come into play very often. Like here, if he, if he draws a removal, yeah, we die. If he doesn't, yeah, he probably dies. Oh, what skill is involved there? Not much. And that's because there isn't enough removal at decent costs, and because creatures act as pseudo removal, making everything just much more difficult. Okay. We must cleanse the Sunwell. Give me a quest. I think that's more valuable. Well played. I can't do that. What on earth is going on? I couldn't target this, I wanted to play that of that, but apparently not. This happens. That's just stupid. We must cleanse the Sunwell.
All right then. Well, that's an unfortunate thing, but it's better than losing. Let's wrap this up. It's been a while since uh, the last game. Saw some. Uh, well, why did my screen go green? Saw some television, etc. Anduin versus Thrall for Doomhammer. The light shall bring victory. Hmm. Well, let's keep this. Perhaps knife chocolate would have been better there. But I think this will be fine. Challenge accepted. Oh, of course it is. I really don't want to walk into uh, the worst possible trap here. Must consider. Hmm. One shot, one kill. With two bluegills and the knife juggler, I hope that's properly protected. He can of course have spot removal, but there's no way to avoid that. Just trying to draw a few cards from it. Mm. Fine size summoner, I think. Against Lightning Storm, that's the best choice here, uh, since it's a uh, not very valuable to drop. Doesn't 
coming through. Right away. Put this apple on your head. For the crusade! Yeah. Exposes us too much, but we have the mind control. Yeah, it's not a lightning storm. Do you call that a wet? <laughs> Join or right. die. Oh. Uh, well, that's unpleasant. He obviously doesn't have the AOE, or he would have used it. Right away. So let's do this. Oh God. Sacrifice the there we go. I wonder what his hand is doing if he has nothing to play there. That's just really strange. Seems like a really poor play, to be honest. Right away, coming through. Join. And this is a rather disappointing game. On the back of this, we have drawn way too many cards for him to be able to. Recover at all. There is literally nothing he can do to fix this problem, I think. Because we pretty much have everything. Well yep. played. And let's do a quick review. Holy Smite was great when it was needed, otherwise it's yeah, it's a removal spell. Cheap. You definitely want a few of these if you can get them, but I wouldn't take them over uh, good creatures. Northshire Cleric was instrumental like that last game, but some other games it can't rip and that's good enough. Shield Bearer was okay sometimes, I wouldn't take this over a better pick, but if you're gonna get value out of it, it'll be for Shaman or Priest, I think those are the best uh, candidates for taking this. Removal is removal, it's very good. Berserker was fine, especially against that Hunter, but Fen Raptor was okay, Google Warriors, fine. Uh, they always overperform a little, I think, for their cost. Knife Juggler, fine, I don't like the random aspect, but okay. It's better than Mad Bomber, which was okay, uh, good sometimes, bad sometimes, but it's the free 2 body that really matters. Unfortunately, blowing up your own stuff can randomly lose you games you should be winning. Fine Sized Summoner, this is okay, uh, it's not that great, but it's fine if you get to curve out with it, then it can just win you the game on tempo, but more often than not it gets solved immediately, like I should have in my Lost in the Warrior game. 
Youthful Brewmaster is very good, uh, good utility, better than uh, the Mad Bomber, I think. And we got some value out of it, and it's 3-2 body. It doesn't get much better than that. Only disadvantage is that you have to time it properly, and it can sometimes be a bit bad if you only have one creature to get back, and that's something you want to keep on the board. Imp Master was fine, but not great. Jungle Panther, uh, decent. It's a removal spell, in my opinion. And it's okay, uh, but it never does more than what you expect from it. Scarlet Crusader does. Um, sometimes it's great, sometimes it's mediocre. But it's never really bad, bad. Uh, the Cleric was fine. Uh, very good. We couldn't replay it once, which was odd, was a bug. Um, other than that, it always does its job. Nice spawn, disappointing. But we have grown used to that, so it's not really disappointing. It just... It's too easy to trade this off. Uh, with multiple attacks, you can often one for one it, just because it gets smaller. This one gets better with buffs, but we didn't have any. Shieldmaster was fine. I uh, don't think we got much value out of it this time around. Mm, only once, I think, but that's good enough if we win uh, once. Uh, well, if, if, if every win is because of one card, then that's a great reason to have them. But it's never actively bad, and we just didn't draw it a lot when it mattered. Stormwind Knight uh, was okay. It has enough to heal, so it does extra work in the priest deck compared to others, but I'd still prefer some other board drop like a, a Dark Iron Dwarf or a Yeti instead. Holy Nova needed and good. Azer Drake, very, very powerful card. You will see this in Constructed uh, in many decks. This card is where it's at. A less good in the Priest deck than in some other decks because they don't have a lot of spell damage, but still great. Berserker overperformed for us. Uh, it would be much better as a 3-7 that gains 2, but uh, it still was fine. We definitely won at least one game because of it, or at least got a fast clock because of it. And um, it was never actually bad, as far as I can remember. I definitely would have uh, preferred another creature but it did its job as a meaty bobby. Just like the mercenaries here, they were great. Uh, as well as the Boulder Fist Ogre. These are just fatties that we have and could heal. They are fine in the priest, priest deck, and I think you want a few of them. Garen was good when it didn't get silenced. We definitely got some uh, mileage out of it. Maybe more than we could could have uh, gotten out of a Black Knight. I don't know. I think they are about on the bar, but the Black Knight serves a little bit of a different function. Uh, so yeah, in the grindy games, I think I'd rather have Kieran, but when you go aggressive, I think Black Knight is just better. Wind Fury Harpy was okay. It's just like Kieran, except that it can only live once. It just does what it is supposed to do, which is draw out removal and attacks from the opponent player. When it actually gets to attack, yeah, it does 8, but that doesn't happen often. One time we got to enchant it with the Shattered Sun Cleric, and then the opponent obviously died, but other than that, it just does what it is supposed to do, and when you have control of the game, how you finish it, it doesn't matter much. I would much rather have had a 6-6 six, six that gives extra health instead of the heartbeat, but it didn't roll like that. And mind control was the cause of uh, the 8 victories, I think. Not all of them, but many of them at least. 
square one because uh, mind control exists and sometimes because we actually played it. So that was a draft. Now let's see about the rewards. Hoping to get back up a little in the monies. Goldies. Money is the only resource that matters. None of the others are actually relevant. Oh, and this is very nice. 216. Alright, and there we go. See you next time.